Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am going to go back over to Windy Whiskers and start collecting the treasure bags that I missed here because pretty much both of them require this handy dandy glide ability which trivializes this area come to think of it. Um, the first treasure bag, as you can tell, is up in that corner, but it's, you have to do something rather elaborate to get it, actually. This one's like a puzzle to get, it, because you can't jump at it from that spot right there. You have to jump at it from a different spot. See, here, here, I'll show you. Like, if you were to try and run at it from here, you'll never have the height to be able to do it. So, oops, don't have enough speed to make it across. <laughs> Yeah! And then go up here, and, oh, wait a second, I think I want to go one more down. Yeah, here is fine. And then I'm going to take a running leap back over to the left from here with a glide to get as much height as I possibly can land there. There we go. That's how you get that treasure bag. Uh, there's another one. That's directly below us, but it's really, really risky to get. Well, maybe it's not that risky because the wind actually helps you with it. But just for the sake of safety... Yes. <laughs> just want to guarantee my treasure bag collection there. Alright, let's start the jump. Go to the left and glide. Woo! There it is. And from here, you can go all the way back up and around. And... Boop. There we go. Now this area is 100%ed. Well, I should say it's guaranteed to be 100%ed after I save. There we go. Alright, last area in the game, Alibaba Heights. Let's start. Two of the treasure bags in this one can be rather tricky to get, but... Yeah, I guess once you collect one of the tricky ones, just immediately go back to the map to save. And the first one, oh geez, the first one I'm going to collect is in a windy area that requires the glide ability. And stay away. Stay away! <laughs> it's up over here, and you've got to do a glide obstacle course. This can take a little bit of practice. Uh, a, a tip that I recommend is that do not press the, uh, the jump button to glide when you are near spikes that are above you because you immediately drift upwards. So do it when you're falling away from the spikes and you should be okay. Just gotta get the hang of that rhythm, so to speak, to control the height. Alright, you two fire please, thank you. I will probably not take that side. Yeah, that's a much better plan to go that way. Oh boy! Yeah. No, no you don't. Okay, I'm doing pretty well here. Uh, I think this is a dead end. I can check it rather safely. Yeah, it is. Just It's just there because it's rather, rather easy to get through. And rather, yeah, easy to see, I suppose. It kind of blocks in the area. Be careful of that. That can be tricky too. And there we go. And whoop, now we're back over here. And as long as I'm here, I am going to go up, up and away to collect the treasure bag way, way up here. It's It takes a while to get this one. It's not hard to get. You just gotta keep jumping and gliding and climbing from one side to the other because you can't go past these little triangle edges like that, they act like platforms that block your pro progress. And you can't like jump and then turn around like that, it just doesn't work. Uh, well it does, but you can't gain height that way. But anyway, there is a treasure bag. And on the way back to the save point, I am going to show you a neat little glitch that I found. Uh, I just gotta get through this, dang it, I suck at that. <laughs> the second one isn't too bad though. Okay, woo! Now, down here, I'm gonna let myself bounce off the wall so I can get myself ready for this. When you, when you exit this chute, immediately glide and go to the left and keep holding left. Ready? Go. And glide! Now watch this. 
See, you're touching the side of the screen, and now we're walking on the side of nothingness. I don't know why this is here, but it's like there's some sort of ever so slight platform on this side of the screen, and if I were to release left, I will immediately fall. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like there's some sort of slope there, and you can hold yourself up there when you are holding left, but otherwise it is a, um, it's a rather odd little side of the screen glitch because you know there's there's obviously nothing there but there's actually something there but I mean there's nothing there visually anyway let's go and do another tricky one uh, actually maybe there's three treasure bags that are tricky in this one this one the one that with the windy section and then another one with with a really really tricky windy section plus one block jumps and that's probably the hardest treasure bag in the game to get uh, this imitation Gordo flavoring, its pattern is those blocks, so you know where it's going to be at, so you know where it's going to start and stop, which really helps in determining when you want to jump over it so that you don't land on top of it. This is so easy to make a mistake though, because if you touch one of them and the platform moves out from under your paws, yeah, you're going to fall into instant instant death or something like that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, retry. Whoops, going down. It's to the right. Bad PK Gam for getting your directions mixed up. You can really navigate this level quickly if you know where to go. But then again, that's kind of like what a lot of video games come to think of it. Nope. I don't think so, Bottle Rocket. I don't think so. Like I said, part of the challenge of this game is getting. Uh, is going forward and back through the game's obstacles. So, just got to be smart, got to play cool. Boop! There we go. Alright, I can do this. This time the bottle rocket better not mess with me. <laughs> Otherwise, fur will fly. Please don't fire! Oh, that worked out. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go save because next treasure bag is going to kill me a lot. No joke. <laughs> Unless I get really, really lucky at this. But the chances of you getting through this without dying is very, very slim. Even if you know what you're aiming to do. <laughs> There's, oh, shoot. I guess it doesn't really matter because, well, no. Because the, the bottomless pit that I'm going to be jumping over isn't one hit kill, so I like to be at full health actually. Alright, not, not that it'll mean anything if I fail, but still. <laughs> Alright, to get there, it's, it's even rather tricky to get there. I gotta get past a bunch of obstacles, including past Ninja Boy. How did you hit me? <sighs> well, I'll just show you where it is anyway. Because it's you have to do this in one shot for the most part. Alright, just gotta go in through these. Okay. Alright, this is it. Hardest treasure bag in the game. Got wind. Got. Oh, jeez! Got little jumps. Wind and little jumps are not your friend. Oh, that's not gonna make it. Need to. Oh, I failed. <laughs> it helps if you have maximum speed for some of this and just like gun it hope that you land on the little platforms like try and get a feel for them and hope you land on them as you jump for them but this is one of those things where why why do you keep hitting me yes that's exactly what i was trying to say this, this is one of those kinds of things where you have to keep trying it until you nail it because if it's high difficulty all right i'm going to long jump like and yes! No, 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 no! Alright. Alright, fur to get back with one hit, if at all possible. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, my! Oh! Alright, I think I'll be able to make it back safely now. That, that went pretty well, I think. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm glad I killed Ninja Boy, because that one seems to nail me so often. Mm. I was hoping that one wouldn't jump. 
Alright, 20 out of 20 treasure bags. I can now save and, well, I don't know how far I'll get in the tower, but since I'm only like 10 minutes into this part, let's start it now. Alright, this is it, the final area in the game. And it's a long one too, so it might take me a couple parts to beat. So, ticket booth guy. Indeed I did, I've got a lot of pocket change actually. Beep beep, boop boop. Here we go, oh man. You know what, I'm gonna save so I don't have to... Um, I don't have to go through that dialogue each and every time. I, ha I fail this and I am going to fail this a couple of times. So, here we are. First, break your way through these blocks, and that's a locked door shortcut. You know how those things work. You have to use all your moves to get through here. Alright, make sure your charge is at the max. Run for it and jump. Try and destroy the lower block if you... And I failed my charge move. <laughs> that's why I want to make sure that I didn't have to re-talk to him every single time, because this is going to take me a couple of tries to nail this. And it's a long way, well, I shouldn't say it's a long way before a save point, but the chances of you getting to the save point is very slim. <laughs> Alright. Yes, broke through the uh, lower one. Alright, I'm going to give you a little look ahead here. See this odd, those odd, odd colored blocks there? They, well, actually the whole segment there, the whole thing goes down with your body weight. And you're going to need all the speed you can possibly to get, get to go through there. So wait for that spike ball to go through, and I failed. I want a full running start at this. Because I will fail otherwise. There we go. No! Don't get hit by spike balls, kitty. Please save yourself. Oh! I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. Yes, and made it. But there's still an elevator segment. And every time you jump, the elevator stops moving upwards, so you gotta stay on the ground for the most part, unless you're dodging stuff. Ah, that was a bad choice. That was a very bad choice, but I actually made it to a save point. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that went as well as it did. Alright, got lava. This lava, I don't... yeah, it's not a one-hit kill. Um, but I will want to make sure that I'm at full health, and I'll see if I can get a little bit further in this tower before I end off the part. Oh, I don't like that positioning. Oh, no, help. Oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. I got to stop saying no, stop panicking, and make it through the Tower of Death. Oh, that was terrible timing on my part. <laughs> uh, just wait it out, stop being impatient, shoot, there you go. Get over, voila, come on thwomp, and just let it fall, jump to the other side, fall again, there you go, not too bad, and here's a shortcut back to the entrance, so that sounds like a good time to save the game before I go on to the final, final area, so I'm going to save here and end off the part, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part, which could very well be the last.